What's going on everybody? As you can see, today I am not in my room, as I usually am in my videos. For those of you who have been following my channel, for the past few years I've been in the Georgia Tech OMFCS program, which is an online master's program through Georgia Tech. So far I've been doing it for about two to three years and I have four classes left that I have to take to finish up the program. In the last year, I decided, well, it's going to be an online program, so all my work is gonna be online. And I can really do online work from anywhere. And so I was super blessed the past couple of years and was able to make some good money in the stock market, which opened up the ability for me to focus full-time on school. I was doing school one class a semester, along with working full-time. And for anybody who's doing the same thing, which a lot of people in the OMSCS program are doing, you know it is brutal. And as many of you know, again, my background is not in CS. My background is in mechanical engineering. So for me, it was a subject matter change and I was doing it while working a full-time job. And so because of that, and because I was given this huge blessing of being able to make some really good money the past couple of years, I decided to take some time, step away from work, focus full time on school, and enjoy this time that I had where I was able to work remotely, work really from anywhere, and still get my master's degree finished up, which has been something that's been kind of weighing over my head for the entire time I've been in the program. It always feels like you have something else you have to get done, even if you're taking a day to just rest. So what I decided to do was take my brother and myself, and for any of you who are following me on my other channel, HBK Adventures, you know this story, but my brother and I, my younger brother, Michael, he's right in front of me. He might come say hi. There he is. We decided to take a road trip all across the US and go to a bunch of different national parks. And so I love hiking and he loves hiking. And we decided while I'm in school, like I said, I have four classes left. So two this semester, two next semester, we would travel around the US, go to all these different national parks and hike and bike and have fun while I'm finishing up my degree. But I've been able to work on my two classes. I'm about three weeks into the semester at this point, and I'm taking CSE 6242, which is a class on data and analytics and visualization, and CS 6400, a class solely on databases. Now on the OMS Central website, these classes are both ranked as reasonably easy classes. So I felt that they, I, I think they have an average difficulty score of under three, which for reference, the first class I took, uh, computational photography, I believe that had an, a difficulty score of about 3.6 or 3.4. But taking those two classes together and doing some hiking, along with just times where I've had to take a day or two just to do homework. You can see how beautiful the view is. Wow. Along with that, I've been able to keep up with my schoolwork. Both of those classes are project-based classes. So CSE 6242 has a couple of quizzes, but they're only worth about 3% cumulative. So the quizzes really don't matter for anything. What really makes up your grade is you have a project, which I believe is worth 50% of your grade, and you have four homework assignments, also worth 50% of your grade. And a huge advantage in this class is the homeworks are all through Gradescope. Now we've used Gradescope in some other classes. The one that comes to my mind is the software development processes. I forgot the number right now. We'll have it on the screen. That class also used Gradescope, and Gradescope is just a fantastic tool that particular classes in the OMSCS program use that allow you to upload your homework, usually multiple times. The class will just allow it until the deadline comes, 
and it allows you to get an immediate grade. So for CSE 6242, it's been really, really helpful because I'll just work on my homework, upload a question that they give, and get a grade back immediately and I'll know how I'm doing. So that's been super helpful. And CS6400, the class I'm taking on databases, that class doesn't have any homeworks at all. It's all based on projects. There's a big project and exams. And again, I think that one is split 50-50, but I'll have the grades over here for that one as well. So both of these classes together, I've got great groups in both of them. Uh, I think it's five members per group in both classes. And so I'm really excited to be able to work on those classes and while doing that, just enjoy nature, enjoy being outside, enjoy hiking and enjoy finishing up my last semester. So if you guys are taking any of those classes, CSC 6242 or CS 6400 and you have any questions, or if those are classes you wanna take and you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you have any particular hikes on any national parks that you think are great, or any questions about how I was able to plan this whole thing that I could go on these hikes while finishing up my degree, leave that in the comment section as well. If you're interested in the hikes we're taking, check out my other channel, HBK Adventures, where my younger brother and I, who are doing this trip, review the different national parks, hikes, and a lot of other things that we're doing while we're out. As always, if you've enjoyed this content, leave a like for the video. Thanks and subscribe.